All right, listen. You hear that? That's rapid fire. Week nine, NFL. Yes. All right. So we're starting off Thursday night, Philly at Houston. Brandon Cook's feeling betrayed. And, I mean, Philly is arguably the best team in the league. I'm taking Philly. Philly is on a roll. Eight and no. Let's go. Philly. For my wife, she's a Philly fan. Yeah. Uh, I go with the Eagles. <laughs> right. <laughs> we got the LA Chargers at Atlanta. Chargers are kind of clinging to that last playoff spot right now. I mean, it's a little early, obviously, but, you know, they, they got to keep winning to stay in it. I'm going to take the Chargers in a fairly big win over Atlanta. All right. I got the Chargers. I take the Chargers in a close game. ATL shoddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we got Miami. Uh, featuring their brand new edge rusher Bradley Chubb going up against Chicago with Justin Fields, the newly resurgent Justin Fields with his brand new number one wide receiver. I'm taking Chicago in the upset. Oh, no, I got Miami. To Miami. Yeah, they get smoked. I'm going with Miami. <laughs> Dare to be great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina at Cincinnati. Cincinnati looked awful against Cleveland. Uh, Jamar Chase is obviously not going to be back, but Carolina just, they don't look awful. They are awful, so I'm taking Cincinnati. I'm taking Carolina. I'm going with Cincinnati. Look, I'm on the P.J. Skywalker train. Well, you got to give, give a score. I, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Mike is going with Carolina. I, I talked over you, Mikey. Uh, a little, hey, shout out to little Mikey, our, our other assistant producer for Ring King's podcast. Whoa. Yes. Um, B, give, give me a score for... Uh, for, for the game. So I do think that, that PJ continues his play. I think he plays pretty well. I think him and, and DJ got the connection going on, uh, but I think that they just get outscored, and I'm going to say it's going to be 34-27. Oh. Mm. I'm going to say 31-24 Panthers. Ooh, no. PJ 35. to DJ. 35-17 Cincinnati. Mm. Woo! Okay. Okay. 27 26. PJ Skywalker <laughs> leads them on another game winning drive. Nice. They should have won last week. They got I cheated. Agree. DJ, yes, Walker, they did. DJ they did. Moore was yeah. off the field. They did. No, there were other players who took their helmets off. Uh, but they called playing? it They called it on. on yeah. DJ. But they didn't get cheated, is what I'm saying. <laughs> DJ got cheated on his penalty stats. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Moving on, next up, we got Green Bay, because this is not rapid fire at all. We got to pick it up. <laughs> Green Bay at Detroit. <laughs> all right. Now, despite the fact that they have the worst wide receiver core in the league, I'm taking Green Bay all day. I got Detroit. I got Green Bay. Yeah, I'm going Green Bay. Indianapolis at New England. I mean, this used to be the game in the NFL. Yes. And now I could not, you could not pay me to watch this. I am going to go New England. Because <laughs> they're at home, going with the Patriots. Yeah, I'm going Patriots. Yeah, uh, Jonathan Taylor's not supposed to play this week again, so I'm going with New England. Yep, New England. Buffalo at New York. Uh, I mean, two titans of the AFC. Uh, you know, you got. I have to keep saying because I have to keep reminding myself that the Jets are good. But Buffalo is going to. Uh, they're going to do something rather, rather obscene to the Jets this week. I'm taking Buffalo big. Uh, I got Buffalo, but in a close one. I agree. I got Buffalo. It's not going to be as big as most people think, especially if Zach Wilson goes out and Flacco comes in. That ain't happening. Buffalo trips over themselves. I'm going to Jets, baby. Woo! Wow. That's what, that's oh, what I'm talking okay. about. That's okay. what I'm yes. talking about. So we got Minnesota at Washington. Uh, I don't know if Jahan Dotson is finally going to to come back and play this week. Um, Taylor Heineke, you know, they always seem to play a little bit better. They 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 get a little spark with Taylor, even though he's garbage. Uh, Minnesota, I think that they could slip up, and this is going to be an upset for Washington. I think you convinced me. I'm picking Washington. <laughs> it's a one o'clock game. I'm going with Minnesota. Kirk Cousins back home. You like that? You like <laughs> that? I'm going, with, I'm going with Minnesota, but I can I I like that. B. I can see that. I can see Washington still in this one. Las Vegas at Jacksonville, two promising teams who have fallen squarely on their face. Yeah. But 
I'm taking Jacksonville uh, for no particular reason at all. <laughs> I'm taking Jacksonville because I think Josh McDaniels should have never gotten a job. I want him fired after year one. That's right. I'm a hater. <laughs> you are factually correct. Josh McDaniels is horrible. The New Orleans Saints held the Vegas, Las Vegas to 138 yards total offense last week. And no points. Sh- shut them down. No points. 38 yards rushing. I'm going with Jacksonville. Yeah. I wanted to go Las Vegas because of their uniforms, but I think Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> I think they I think the Jags win. Uh next up, Seattle at Arizona. Uh, Kyler Murray was recently wowed by how big the quarterback wristbands are. I guarantee you he's not doing the homework. It's Seattle all day. This is going to be a good game, but yeah, I'm picking Seattle. Yeah, I never thought I would say this, but I think I'm a believer in Geno Smith. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I believe in him now, but more importantly, I believe in Kenneth Walker, so I'm going with Seattle. Yo, I, listen, I am so, 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 so happy for Geno. Man, I couldn't be happier for that, man. I hope this turns into a big-time contract, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to Arizona. Wow. I'm taking Arizona. I think Little Man and D-Hop, they get busy this week. Why are you calling yeah. Little Man? <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> uh, next, we have the L.A. Rams at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is a disaster. I'm taking the Rams. <laughs> I got the Rams, too. Yeah, I got the Rams. It's no way Tampa Bay. If Tom loses five straight. Is it? Would it be five straight? It'll be. It'll be four. Four. four? Uh, well, he can lose four straight. So I'm gonna go with the Rams. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, next up, Tennessee at Kansas City. Derrick Henry came alive last week. Uh, Malik Willis did not. So I'm gonna take Kansas City in this one. Yeah, I got Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City all day. Big. Yeah, KC. They they get busy. And the Monday night game, the Mm. Baltimore Ravens featuring their brand new middle linebacker wearing number 18, looking ridiculous at the New Orleans Saints. (laughs) Um, Listen, the Saints are starting Andy Dalton. That's that's strikes one, two, and three right there. Um, I'm taking Baltimore. Honestly, I mean, I can just spoiler alert. I'm taking Baltimore the next five weeks. Um, I'm going to take Baltimore. Lamar. He, he he always shows up in prime time. I think it's going to be a big win for Baltimore. Two touchdowns. Mm. What's the score? Uh, I'm going to say that they go 27-13. Yeah, I think they might hit, hit the 30 mark here. I'm going to say 34-17. Listen, um, Lamar Jackson, 13-1 against the NFC. Andy Dalton, 6-19 in prime time games, 0-6. But his last win in prime time was versus the Ravens. Oh, so being that he's the Raven killer, I'm gonna go with Baltimore 23 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, Dalton, Dalton, back when he was the red rifle, right? He he, he, gave, yeah. he gave us some fits, uh, but back I don't want to hear that. Was a thing. Yeah, um, yeah, but you know, I, I, I feel like. Uh, this game will be ugly early, and we will be disappointed and sweating. And then Baltimore pulls it out in the second half, and they dominate again. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go twenty-eight, twenty-eight, seventeen. Okay, I'll take that double-digit wins. All right, and that has been rapid fire, ladies and gentlemen. 